Hey everyone, um, I'm going to show you how you can add custom paper sizes to your Microsoft print to PDF. Um, once you add the sizes you need, you can print from whatever application you want, but I'm going to specifically show you um, inside of microsurvey. So if you go to print and you don't have the option to print to PDF. Um, like you can do JPEG or PNG, but that's not really that useful. If you just have the Microsoft print, print to PDF, by default, you will only have these predetermined sizes. So if you need something bigger, um, you're kind of out of luck by default. You need to edit a file with some sizes um, that you need, and I'm going to show you to do that. So what, what you need to do is open up a run window, open your type in regedit, and then you'll get a box that just says click yes. So this opens up, and you're going to need to find what you're looking for is this print query, uh, this this number. So to get that, I just have the I have it written down right here. So it's this. You get all find this, then then you want to find the find this. So once you have this number, then you need to open up a Explorer window and go to this location here, Windows System 32 spool v4 drivers. So you want to copy this and then paste it and then go and then find that find this folder inside here. So mine happens to be right here. So you open it and I have these four folders. And so this GPD file, not the merged one, but this one. So you're gonna wanna right click. Uh, you can actually just copy these to another folder. So if you do screw it up, you can, you have a backup. But anyway, um, so right click on this and open with, um, notepad, for example. But since I already have it open here, so once you have it open, you will um, you need to find the default option letter in here and then paste this right below it, which is right here, which I will all have in a file that you can copy these from. So you paste that in there, um, and then you're going to need to change these sizes to the page size that you need. So I needed uh, 610 by 1220, this is in millimeters. And for some reason, the way that it printed with margins, I needed to make it six millimeters bigger. So um, it's the, this is the size that I need to make my page. And then you need it in centimeters. And for some reason, you have to t multiply that number by 180,000 to get this number right here, which is the ones you need. So you multiply these by your 180,000, put these in here, so the one, two, and then your printable width. So once you have these in there, that goes into this file, then you save this. You have to, um, it'll ask you if you need, you have to save it as an administrator. So once you save that, then that'll, that's, that is all good. And then from there, you need to open up your control panel right here and then go to view devices and printers. Find your Microsoft print to PDF printer and then print print server properties. And then create tick the create a new form box, name it something uh, that you know what, just name it the size, whichever you want. Um, put in the sizes you want and then click OK or click save and then click OK. So the one I created earlier was, was right here. So you can see it's the, it's the six mils bigger than the size I want. So after that's all done in there, you go back to microsurvey and you go to print. You select this, select the print to PDF, go to properties. Under settings, go to custom properties. You're probably going to want this in landscape and then go advanced 
select the size you want, then press OK, OK again, OK again, then it'll ask you to save it because it's your own custom configuration. After that, then you now can choose the size you want. And you can see now it's it's in inches, but it's it's the proper size. So now from here you can print and it'll be the size that you need or whatever size you make it. So that is that. And hopefully this works for you. This worked for me. I don't know if there's another way to do it, but this just has worked for me. So uh yeah, see you guys later.